All right, starting this week, the holiday travel will pick up again. As you try to get your friends and family this Christmas, there's some construction near the airport that could slow you down. Kelsey McFarland is live inside Harry Reid International to explain what to watch for. Good morning, Kelsey. Good morning, Justin. You can see baggage claim is nice and empty, so it's slow rolling as far as flights coming into Las Vegas. But I did check upstairs. There is already a line at TSA this morning, and it's only going to get busier from here. The busiest travel day just around the corner expected on December 23rd. So if you're hoping to get a jump on the crowds and if you're heading to the airport today or tomorrow, that construction project heading towards the airport could slow you down as well. So here's what we are expecting to see construction started on Sunday and it'll run through tomorrow. Sunday into today, the 215 eastbound exit to the airport connector tunnel is reduced to one lane. Then today into tomorrow, the 215 westbound exit to the airport connector tunnel and Warm Springs ramp will be completely closed. You'll see lots of detour signs out there by tonight. Now on top of that construction, it was a big sports weekend with a lot of people in town for the Raiders and the Las Vegas Bowl games. So the folks at LAS have sent out warnings all over social media that you could see some major delays and that you'll want to leave yourself extra time. Don't show up at the airport with 20 minutes before your flight time because the doors to the plane typically close 15 to 20 minutes before flight time. You have to get through security. It's the busiest time of the year. And airport officials also say severe weather in other parts of the country could lead to some flight delays this week as well. Those busiest travel days, as we mentioned, December 23rd, the day after Christmas, as well as January 2nd. And if you are planning on long term parking, we've seen it time and time before where Terminal 1, it fills up really, really quickly. So if you're flying out of Terminal 1, consider parking at Terminal 3 and then just taking a shuttle to head towards Terminal 1. Reporting live at Harry Reid International Airport, I'm Kelsey McFarland. Island.